speaker, earlier today I bumped into a new member from Ottawa Vanier in the hallway. I Move forward, please. To Queen's Park. I'd like to do so again on behalf of us all. Thank you. My question is for the African Premier. Ontario's food banks are feeding more than 335,000 people a month. Acting Premier, good morning, by the way. That's more than when the recession first hit eight years ago. This year's hunger report from the Ontario Association of Food Banks shows the rapidly increasing cost of hydro is making it even harder for people to put food on their table. In fact, Speaker, Ontario's food banks say the rising cost of hydro is having a direct and devastating impact in the lives of struggling Ontarians. When will this government do the right thing, stop the privatization Question. of Hydro One, and stop pushing people across Ontario into energy poverty? Thank you. Uh, speaker, to the Minister of Housing and uh, Poverty Reduction. Minister of Housing, responsible for poverty reduction. Well, thank you, Speaker, and, and thank you to the member opposite for uh, such an important question. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Ontario Association of Food Banks uh, for their report and, and for the helpful recommendations uh, contained in it. And I'm pleased that the association recognized the efforts the province has undertaken on housing and the basic income pilot. You know, uh, Speaker, we've seen the, the number of reports uh, uh, that food bank usage has actually decreased uh, between 2015 and 2016. This, the Ontario Association of Food Bank report, however, reminds us that food bank usage has not returned to a pre-recession level, right? So this is, uh, this is one of the reasons that uh, Premier Wynne has instructed me to develop a food security strategy. It's going to focus on improving access to, nutri Answer. to nutritious food across Ontario. Speaker, we know there's more to do, and we're going to continue to build on our progress to improve Thank the you. everyday lives of Ontarians. Supplementary. Interesting spin, Speaker. Hydro rates are out of control. You're pushing families and seniors into poverty. Since 2008, there's been a 23 percent increase in the number of seniors relying on food banks. This government just isn't doing enough to help people who are struggling and falling further behind on their hydro bill. The Hunger Report Minister says, and I quote, the help that currently exists from the provincial government is not comprehensive or inclusive enough for the majority of Ontario families struggling to make ends meet. Speaker, when will this government take real action to get hydro rates under control, under control stop pushing people into poverty, and stop any further sell-off of Hydro One. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, Minister of Energy. Sir of Energy. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. First off, as we are all aware in this House, um, the broadening of Hydro One does not have an impact on the rates. The OEB sets the rates, Mr. Speaker, and that's been very clear. But what I do understand, Mr. Speaker, is that, that families are suffering, Mr. Speaker. I do understand that there are vulnerable families out there that do have a hard time uh, paying their bills, Mr. Speaker. I get that. When I was part of the United Way, Mr. Speaker, even back in 2003, there were programs in place, Mr. Speaker, to help the food banks, to help the United Way, to help the Red Cross, buy places like Union Gas and other um, electricity utilities to help families pay their bill, Mr. Speaker. But we get that there's still families having difficulty, and that's why we we brought forward the OESP program, the Ontario Electricity Support Program, Mr. Speaker. That will actually help Remember from Hamilton up to $75 Street. if they actually heat their, their homes with electricity. Mr. Speaker, there are many things that we have out there, and there are many things that we will continue to do. Thank you. New 